So, um, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what they provide us is they say angle of measure of angle L is congruent to measure of angle N. Uh, line JK is congruent to line MK, and then prove that triangles JKN is congruent to triangle MKL. So, again, to write our proof, we're going to have a statement and a reason. Okay, so we have statements and reasons. Again, to start off our statements, let's just go ahead and work on our angles. Okay. So I have, or I'm sorry, our given statements. Angle L is congruent to angle N because that's given. Now when we're given a given statement, make sure you label that in your triangle, which were, this one was already given. And then JK is congruent to MK, which you guys can see is also labeled in this triangle. So now we need to look at our congruency statements. What have we used so far in this class to help us prove congruency? We have used side, 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 angle, side, um, angle, angle, side, and um, angle, side, angle. Okay, So we need to look at that and determine, all right, as of right now, I have one side that I know is congruent. And what I need to be able to do, is there any way that I can mathematically show that these two sides are equal? or these two sides are equal. Now, if I knew that this was the midpoint, I could say that those two sides are equal. But I don't know that's the midpoint. It hasn't been given to me, and I can't just assume it's the midpoint. So in reality, I don't really know how I'm going to be able to show these two are equal. I can't really show that these two are equal. So I'm going to have to look at one that's not going to include two sides. So that means it's either going to be angle, angle, side, or angle, side, angle. So if um, now, the problem I have is, remember, angle, side, angle, that side has to be what? Does anybody remember? There's a word I used. When we do like angle, side, angle, or side, angle, side, that middle has to be, rhymes with, pinkluded. Included. included, right? It has to be right between those two measurements. So if we're using angle, side, angle, that means it has to be like angle, side, angle, or angle, side, angle. But right now, I have this angle, and it's opposite side. So the only thing I can do is use angle, angle, side. So now I need to look at this and say, all right, so that means I need to show that that is equal to that, or that is equal to that. So which one do you guys think I'm going to be easiest to be able to prove? That angle is equal to that angle, or that angle is equal to that angle? Yes. Okay. Yes, and why can you show that these are equal? Because? Vertical angles. Now, what information would we have to know to show that these two are equal? Does anybody know? What kind of lines? Parallel. parallel. So if you were given parallel lines, you could also say that these two are equal. Unfortunately, we're not given the information that they're parallel. So Angel, when you're writing this down, you can't assume that those two are equal because you don't know that line JN and LM are parallel. So the only thing we can say now is angle J, K, N is congruent, J, K, N to M, K, L, is congruent to angle M, K, L. So that's given as well. Sorry, I forgot to write that. That is going to be vertical angles. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we have angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. So guess what? Now we can say that this triangle, J, K, N, is congruent to triangle M, K, L, because angle, angle, side. Ta-da!